One physician from Brown University tells CNN of all places that President Biden dropped the ball on COVID testing. Take a listen. I cannot believe this is where we are almost two years into the pandemic. Uh, everybody saw it coming. We knew we needed more tests. I think the administration had dropped the ball on this. What? Is that the first sign of the apocalypse? Joe Concha joins me now. Joe, uh, does this mean the media honeymoon is over? I, I mean, I love how this is news, that somebody making an obvious <laughs> statement, coming to an obvious conclusion uh, on a major news mm. network, that well, now we have to talk about it. Uh, yeah, look, uh, candidate Biden uh, slammed then-President Trump on not having a plan to control the virus, the word he used, control. Biden said he had a plan to stop it. Again, that word he used, stop. And that's utterly ridiculous, but enough people actually bought it. And now we're seeing some folks, uh, particularly in media, surprised that Joe Biden, after a year, a year to prepare for this moment, even after a couple months after, what was it, Vanity Fair had that report uh, saying, hey, there's going to mm. be this winter surge. We probably should also surge our testing. And apparently this administration, this president rejected uh, that, that plan uh, that, that somehow we can't call this an utter and complete failure because it was when it comes to testing. And look, all the spin in the world, Ashley, doesn't matter because you go out to your local store and there's a lot of virgin cares that are popping up, uh, particularly in strip malls yeah. uh, in this country. Uh, and we see the lines, right? And they go for lock, blocks right. and blocks. And if we're not going out, we see it on our phones. Either way, media could spin this all they want or try to cover for this president, but he deserves the criticism <laughs> he's getting, and there should be more of it on yeah. other cable news networks holding this president accountable the same way they did with his predecessor. All right, Joe, this is another one for you to chew on. Social media users demanding an apology from Rachel Maddow uh, and MSNBC after the Liberal host said back in March that, hey, vaccines would bring an end to the pandemic. Listen to this. Now we know that the vaccines work well enough that the virus stops with every vaccinated person. A vaccinated person gets exposed to the virus. The virus does not infect them, the virus cannot then use that person to go anywhere else. It cannot use a vaccinated person as a host to go get more people. That means the vaccines will get us to the end of this. Well, uh, in response to that, Rachel Campos Duffy tweeted, quote, will she retract her statement and apologize? Uh, and podcast host Dave Rubin said, quote, but she was so sure of it as she read the script off the teleprompter. You know what, Joe? I'm not going to hold my breath on an apology. What do you think? Never in a billion years, because we've seen this movie before. <laughs> you know, Rachel Maddow was so definitive yeah. there, right? Particularly with all these, you know, hand gestures that, that I will never use in doing segments <laughs> like these. Uh, look, uh, Ms. Maddow is the highest rated host on MSNBC, which is like being, the, you know, the skinniest kid yeah. at Fat Camp these days. And, and she's also the highest paid. And therefore, <laughs> that gives her tremendous power within that network, more than any producer or executive, quite frankly. And what that, what that allows is for her to say whatever she wants, regardless of whether it's true or not. We saw it in the movie I saw before was three years of a majority of her program being dedicated to Trump Russia collusion. And again, not alleged, yes. not she's exploring the story, presented as fact. And she never apologized for it because her bosses never asked her to apologize for it. So, yeah, look, most media reporters are allergic to holding her accountable. Fact checkers stay away as well because they both line up with her ideologically. It's a nice existence to have in this business. If you can get it, say whatever you want and no scrutiny. Why? Wow, go figure. Yeah, but she said it, and we've got the tape, and, boy, she has to answer. She won't get an apology. There's no doubt about that, but it does no kind shot. of point some key things out. All right, Joe Concha, thanks so much. Great stuff as always, Joe.